welcome you to Los Angeles. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Washington Nationals taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. Hi, folks. John Chomby alongside Chris Singleton. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country and a lot of times that's done through sport but for me as a black player when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure baseball's hard enough just to play but then everything sort of on the field off the field and how he persevered through that's so inspiring all right we'll be back to get this one started after this so just about set now and taking the ball for the Dodgers, Gavin Stone. It's a tough veteran lineup on the other side, but I'm excited to see what this rookie can do in this one. And now up for Washington, C.J. Abrams. The shortstop, C.J. Abrams. The wide to kick the pitch. That ah, one oh. finds the zone. And here we go on Jackie Robinson Day. The shortstop takes the ball. Definitely a One swing strike. and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. Swing and miss. And the count. One and two. Left hand batter waits. Sit down on strikes. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Well, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Muncie settles under it and makes the catch. And there's two down as we take a look at the Nationals lineup. One guy leading the way offensively for this club right now, Jesse Winker. Well, he's been incredible recently, Boog. Last month, his on-base percentage was over 500. It's just ridiculous, man. I don't think my on-base percentage was ever 500 in a month. This guy's so disciplined as a hitter, it leads him to finding good pitches to hit, and he's got the patience to just take a walk as well. Swing and a miss. Another 0-2 oh, okay. count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. And down on strikes he goes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. And the Dodgers are coming up to hit. No score. You're dialed into the show. Back here at Dodger Stadium. And today's starting pitcher, Mackenzie Gore. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Where Betts. Dodgers? Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. Yeah, yeah. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. And that one is lifted in the air under this one. Corrals it. And there's one away. Here's the Dodgers lineup now. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent, and sometimes in front of the opponent, 
And you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They know how to get down to business. And they understand what the job is at hand. One out. Base is empty. It's in and out of his glove. But he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time that he had there. The first, the first baseman, baseman Freddie, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. Oh, Just missed. All right, so you hit lefty. What makes it so hard to face a left-handed pitcher? Left-handers, they just seem to have different arm angles. So to keep that front shoulder in there and really discipline oh, yourself hard. can be tough sometimes. But the guys that do it well, man, I tip my cap to them every day. Two-0. -oh. There's a strike. Two balls, one strike. Two down. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Okay. Missed inside with the curb. Will Smith waiting for a turn at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. At the belt and fires. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here. Scoreless after one. Back here in L.A., Joey Gallo steps to the plate. And Chris, probably no other player better represents present-day baseball than this guy. A lot of power, a lot of strikeouts, and some walks. Stone back to work. Really important for the pitcher to not get proud, stay with the scouting report, and don't throw something into his swing. He's kind of channeling Adam Dunn. That's through there for a strike. Hey. Struck him out swinging. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Well, that high forcing oh, fastball has become oh, such a great pitch for pitchers to finish hitters off. They're trying to stay back with two strikes, make sure that they can handle something off speed, and just with good spin rate, good rotation through the zone, elevate it a little bit, get a lot of swings and misses, and that's a really nice job right there. And first offering is fouled off. Second inning here, no score. Yeah, that's a little bit high. I think he wanted that call in the open part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. 
and a pitch. And one fouled off. One down, base is empty. That misses, and the count is two and two. And they'll do it again. The pitch. And down on strikes. Two out. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball, step out of the box, agitate him a little bit, do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace... Can't glove it cleanly. Still able to get it there in time. And they do get the third out of the inning. Nothing doing for Washington. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Chavez Ravine. Bottom of the second. And up to the plate is Will Smith. And here it comes. That one missed. And it skips into dirt. Larry Bullard making the calls behind the plate for us in this one. Pretty good strike zone. Well reviewed by those we talked to around the league. Yeah, he's an umpire. He doesn't get a lot of looks from players. Maybe here and there once in a while. But he's appreciated back there. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Makes the grab one away. Got the pitch that he wanted. Just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open. Backside collapsed a little bit. And the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. First pitch is in the dirt. And there's a curve through for a strike. Back to him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Popped up. Foul territory behind the plate. Adams calls it in. And there's two away. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. And now it's Max Muncy. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Looks like he sacrificed a pitch right down the middle for tracking and timing. Some good hitters will do that. Two outs. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. That one carrying. Gone! Max Muncy leaves the yard. And they jump ahead in the second. It's 1-0. He got on plane with that high fastball, and look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that ball. And next for L.A., James Outman. Right through there for a strike. And now the lefty check swing, and that's a ball. Nice job to keep the hands back on that one. Out in front just a little bit. Two down, nobody on. Back up the middle in a base hit. Right 
Here's Kike Hernandez. Step off, throw to first. And he just got his hand in there. They stack center field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two Not away. Enough. Well, that started it ended pretty quickly. No yeah, messing right. around right there. Other than ripping one into the gap or blasting one over the wall, there aren't a whole lot of hits that are more satisfying than a nice line drive in the center field. So that definitely felt good. That's to third. They get the force. They limit the damage here. Solo shot for the Dodgers this inning. It's now a one-nothing ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's the rookie third baseman, Trey Lipscomb. Lipscomb. The right-hander back to work. Lipscomb goes six foot one, 200 pounds, and he was a third round pick in 2022. The wind of the pitch. Slider misses outside. Two Pretty ball. easy to give Go up straight. on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. That oh. one misses. 3-0. and oh. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. And he walked him. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. And it's the catcher for the Nationals, Riley Adams. That one finds the zone. Strike one. In the air, left field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Now just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Looked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. First and second, no outs. And here's the rookie center fielder. First ball. pitch misses. One ball, no strike. Lipscomb over at second. Adams at first with no outs. Hit weakly on the ground. Freeman beats the second out there. Throw to first, but he beat it. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Here's C.J. Abrams to hit. Thought looking his first time up. thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground. Well, on. I wouldn't expect any pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. The shortstop takes the ball. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boy. To third. Base hit into the outfield. In to score from third. It's 1-1. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Here's Lane Thomas. He popped out his first time. Fouled off. He was late. 
Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next pitch misses. One ball, one, one strike. Ball, one strike. Oh, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. On the ground, down the line, and it's foul. Runners at first and second with one gone. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Fouls it off, still one and two. Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Here's Jesse Winker. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. Try to get him to chase on the changeup that time. And that drops in for a strike. Tied up here in the early going. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. The pitch. Good eye right there. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Deals. Little bouncer out in front of the plate. Throw on to Freeman. That ends the inning and stops things from getting out of hand. But the RBI single pushes across a run. All even at one apiece. Back after this on the show. And we're back, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the shortstop at the play, Mookie Betts. He's a guy who does it all. With the lack of contact in today's game, this guy hits for contact, so he delivers average. But there's on-base and slugging, too. And there's the strike. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power. But then if this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. The pitch. That misses. And the count is one and two. Next offering is in the dirt. That one blasted deep to right. That's back. That one is gone. So he blasts one out the other way. His second homer of this series. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2-1. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most times, the pitcher's asking for a new baseball, just like right there. Miguel Rojas at the play. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Oh, you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. 
Nobody on, nobody out with a run in here in the last half of the third. Swung on, popped up on the infield. Gallo in position. And there's one down. That was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate. Had pretty good timing on it. Just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Struck out swinging his first time. That one misses. Ball one. Late swing, foul to the left. Out to short, Abrams. Tosses across yep, the first, out. and Freeman is retired. Now, now batting, batting, catcher, catcher. Will Smith. The batter now will be Will Smith. Ball for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Rosario brings it in for the third out. Mookie Betts brings the noise on this home run, and it's now a 2 1 ball game. Back here in L.A., John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Joey Gallo. The right-hander back to work. A swing and a miss, and that's no strike one. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. There's a swing and a drive. And it gets by him. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he'll pull into second safely. What a really beautiful swing on that pitch right there. Just didn't quite have the combination of launch angle and exit velocity to drive it over the wall. But when you can beat a center fielder like that, you know you hit it well. Here's Eddie Rosario. Struck out looking at his first at bat. Oh. And that's too high. And the pitch. And that one clips the corner. Next offering is in for a strike. He's going off speed. He needs to elevate here with two strikes out of the zone. Quickly, first and third now with nobody out. Love how he let that ball yeah, travel, trucks in his hands. Nice job going the other way. And now it's Luis Garcia. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. That oh. clips the inside corner for a strike. Up by a run, top half of inning number four. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. 
huge strikeout there. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. He was out in front there. Just needs to let the ball travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Trey Lipscomb will hit next. A walk and a run scored his first time. Wouldn't chase that time. Ball. Well, all okay. eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Gallo at third. Rosario at first. One gone. And that one fouled off. Two on, one out. And a count one and two. Righty to the plate. Ground ball left side. Off balance oh. beat. There's one. What a double play that was. Inning over. Poetry in motion there as the second baseman turns the double play. Nice throw to first. And that's the way to end the inning. Is in for a strike, going one. And that's downstairs and outside. And another ball. Three and one. Who hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. On the ground to third. Dives and he can't hang on. He decides to eat it and they don't get the out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. But now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here comes Max Muncy. Yeah, that's outside. 1-0. and oh. You know, these Dodgers do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They're doing a good job of working the pitch count, and they've been able to push a couple of runs across to score as well. Spot. Still relatively early, but with the pair of runs already on the board, the ripple effect of that high pitch count might set them up to do more damage later in this game. Nobody out. Runner at first. That's a little bit low. Three balls. Great. Outside pitch got the better of him that time. Here's the center fielder, James Outerfield. And he's already singled in this game. And the first pitch misses for ball one. What a no. Man at first, one away. Here goes the runner. There's the ball. Throw to second. Ow! Just a mechanically sound throw right there. Great footwork, good transfer, quick release, all those things that you need to do. You don't have to have the highest velocity, but if you can throw it on the money, you can throw out some fast runners. Drive. 
Thomas puts it away and that is that. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the catcher, Riley Adams. Riley Adams. The wind of the pitch. And foul ball. You know, these Nationals, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Betts zips it to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping okay, the ball okay. out of the air. Let's Let's the the defense field. work behind him with Keep another ground ball. Good yeah. execution. And now the center fielder. Goal for one. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. Right side. And that chance handled. And the first two set down at the top of the fifth. Up next is an outside. Now here is C.J. Abrams, one for two. He's been going after these guys consistently, and as a result, he's been able to keep his pitch count low, throwing the ball very well right now. Bounce to the left side. Nets go down one, two, three. Nationals go quietly, and they trail it here, two to one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Kike Hernandez. Kike. Here's a fun fact: Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Whips it across, and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The back, the second baseman. And now it's Gavin Lux. He's over for one. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Kicks and fires. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And yeah, the count one and two. And another ball. Base is empty one away. Last half of inning number five. This one in the air center field. Under it. Nabs it. And there's two away. Now bad. Not, Not shortstop. Mookie. So the batting order turns over. Here's a big power threat. Mookie Betts. He's already homered here in this one. First pitch, and he just misses. It's outside. And a foul ball. Looked like you got a little excited on that fastball. Got to think to yourself, you want to stay up the middle. That way, if you're a little bit early, you hit it out of the ballpark. If you're a little late, opposite field not. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Good pitch to hit on a tee up in the zone. I think he was looking for something else right there. Great ball. There's a ball. Two out, space is empty. Outside, and that is ball four. 
Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them that way. Next is the designated hitter, Miguel Rojas. Right through there for a strike. In there at the knees. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. The pitch. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. The 0 2. And that one got a piece of him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Freddie Freeman now at the plate. Well, this has become a dangerous situation now. Missing spots on the mound and an opportunity for this offense to take advantage. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Trevor Williams, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Barnes getting cranked up as well. Oh, Just that's missed. The Betts on second. Rojas on at first with two down. And a swing and a miss. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. He's safe. Third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. First and second, two down. And now it's going to be Will Smith. One and that's ball. in the dirt. And a pitch. Swing and a foul straight back. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Two on, two outs. Gets a piece and stays alive. Another one, two. And a good eye there. It's a good take. Still two and two after the foul ball. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Swing and a miss struck him out. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We're through five. It's the Dodgers three and the Nats one. Welcome back to the ballpark here on Jackie Robinson Day. Now it's the right fielder, Lane Thomas. And he deals. Singing every year on April 15th, we celebrate Jackie Robinson Day for his courage, his leadership, and how he forever changed the game of baseball and all of sports. It's great to see everyone wearing the same number on a day like today. Tied him up inside with that one. one ball, yeah, one it makes it hard for us as broadcasters to call out who's making the play. But with that said, what a special day in baseball, and I'll take it every year. Up and in, and a count to it all. Pump 
linebacker to the mound. Tosses to first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Now it's the DH, Jesse Winker. Winker, in his seventh season, 30 years old now, he joined the team as a free agent. Inside corner, and that's called a strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. And yes, he offered at him. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, okay. he's been very frugal today, economical with the pitch count. Here's Joey Gallo. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. But we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout oh, concerns. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top half of the sixth. Swing and a hard hit liner up the middle of the base hit. Couple of hits in a now row for him here. Left Got left a left fastball, left. middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely left. smoked that ball. Next to hit for the Nats, Eddie Rosario. Oh. First pitch misses. Knock right field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, a swing like that no, can no. help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. So up next, Luis Garcia. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. That one finds the corner, and that's strike one. Two outs. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Not close. Now one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. Next offering is down low. Good spot there, but didn't get the strike at the knees and doesn't seem too convinced by the call out there on the mound as he tries to get a better sense of the umpire strike zone. And the pitch. adrenaline we can see it right there and sometimes you just got to let it out that's an outstanding job of taking that executing and getting out of a tough inning back down for the bottom of the sixth and there's a new pitcher on the mound Trevor Williams this is his third time out this year And now Teoscar Hernandez. The right field. Teoscar Hernandez. And a pitch. And that one almost got him. All well, the adrenaline's pumping right there. Pretty good fastball. Unfortunately, he got away from him. He's going to have to corral things a little bit. The 1-0. And that's in for a strike. The Nationals have some action going in the pen. Tanner Rainey looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. Liner, and that 
should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. And he greets the new arm from the bullpen with a double. He was all over that one. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. The bat. Max Muncy at the dish. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off onto the right foot. That catches the top part of the zone. It's 0-1. This one in the dirt. Nothing doing. Count moves to one and one. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. That's down and in. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Here comes a pitch. Left field. Has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. One away. Now that the center field. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. And I would say that most great defensive outfielders, it's kind of natural. There is some work that you can do to it uh, to improve your game. But ultimately, oh. you either have it or you don't. And it's second. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that now this one gets through. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. Now got left field. Enrique Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that one fouled off. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. Two on, one out. And there's a foul ball. Remember Mark Kotze was a real good defensive outfielder. Good instincts, not great speed. Right-hander kicks, deals. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Yeah, and I figured you would get Kotze into this because you had a free dinner at his house the other night. That is true. And that one is inside. Wouldn't chase that time. Oh. That delivers outside. Careful. Runners are at the corners, one away. It misses. It's a strikeout. Now that second. Joe Judy out now, and here is Gavin Lux. Ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. 
Dodgers strand a couple, but they still lead it 3 1. Back here at Dodger Stadium. Now the third baseman, Trey Lipscomb. The, the third baseman, Trey Pitch. Lipscomb. Ball no, one low. The ball. One ball, no strike. And another ball. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Nick Ramirez looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. Kelly, the right-hander, also getting loose. The pitch. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking for one. 2 change changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Righty delivers. Swing and a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Now back. The catcher. Riley. And now the catcher comes up to him. Riley Adams. Check swing. Appeal to first. No swing. Just held it back there. With the tying run at the plate, here in the top half of inning number seven. And that's a little bit high, and it's 2-0. Chris, with that distraction and the speedy guy at first, he's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great spot for a hitter to be in. The tying run at the plate. Right through there for a strike. Tonight, his slider has been really impressive. I mean, tight spin. Seems like the hitters aren't picking it up out of the hand. Next pitch in for a strike. Two to two. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Just off the inside corner. And the count's full. Number 42 in the on deck circle. Strikeout. He's got to throw any pitch at any count. Three, two. He goes off speed. Gets the out. Here's the center fielder. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. Now, this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Tying run at the plate. Just oh, missed. You don't want to get beat by a fastball no in. And he spits on that one. The hitters count the 2-0. That's the corner. Good miss with that changeup away. He needs a ball on the ground for a double play. Minimize the potential threat right here. On the hitter side, nice job of laying off that pitch. And it's Thank ball you, four. He missed down low. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this. But he's going to have to buckle down right here. Here comes the skipper. And we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Gavin Stone departs. And a nice effort out of him, no doubt. New arm coming on. We'll be back for that in a moment. Pitching change here. Ryan Yarbrough. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. So the Nets lineup turns over, and now here's the Nationals' leadoff man, C.J. Abrams, one for three. And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Well, in this situation with runners on, you've got to get ahead in the count so that you can dictate the rest of the at-bat. Nice job oh. right there. Off 
off the mark there. And one and one. Put a lay off that pitch down. So the tying run at second. Fights it off. You'll see another. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Two on, one out. That's inside. At the belt and fires. Swing and a miss, and he got him. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. So far, just one of those days for this lineup. You get a couple of runners on, and you're looking at having a big inning, and that strikeout right there just pours water on the fire. Look for the next hitter to step up and try to do something, pick up his teammate and his club. Thomas in the box now. Take strike one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle and hope he gets a mistake. Two on, two outs. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. Well, there's no hiding in this spot. Base is loaded now, and no more wiggle room for any more mistakes like that. And next is the designated hitter, Jesse Winker. Now this is in the air down the line. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that's the third out. Three left for Washington, and it remains a 3-1 ball game. And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's Mookie to hit. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The right-hander back to work. Here's a rocket out to left. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one down. Sometimes you want to be aggressive early in the bat. He was right there. Hard line out. First pitch of the inning. No reward, but hey, you got to keep swinging it. And the batter now, Miguel Rojas. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Not even close there. And the count even one and one. And there's a breaking ball that drops in there. Well, he went inside a couple of times, and now outside, hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. And a one-two. Hammered on a line to the left, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Towards first to second Abrams. Return three to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but no one left. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Dodgers three and the Nats one. So the Dodgers have a new arm on the mound, Nick Ramirez. And yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. 
Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. And now it's Joey Gallo. Joey Gallo. And the pitch. And a foul ball. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Well, you know this guy wants to pitch off something that he can hit hard and drive over the wall. But you've got to set your sights down a little bit. You can't lose your discipline and go after a pitch that you just can't do anything with. Next offering way off the plate. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Here's a 1-2. Wouldn't chase that time. On the ground to first. And he handles it himself for the out. Up next to the The left fielder. Here's the left fielder, Eddie Rosario. Gets the outside corner with that one. one. Next pitch That's is outside. Left hand batter waits. Oh, what a stop. The throw. It's there, and that's a great play. Great cat like reflexes right there. Lays out, knocks the ball down, and then fires with that rocket arm all the way across the diamond. Man, put this guy in the mouth. Two outs, base is empty. Luis Garcia digging in for the Nationals. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Curveball drops in for a strike. Pitch one misses one there. Strike. One and one. And now the lefty. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The Dodgers trying to protect a two-run lead, and we're at the top of the eighth. That one down the line, oh. and that's just foul. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Popped up. Muncie under it. Hauls it in to end the inning. Three up, three down for Washington. And they still trail it here, three to one. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Matt Barnes. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Will Smith Leading steps to the plate for, for the Dodgers. The catcher. The pitch. Just off the inside edge. Oh. 
breaking ball through there for a strike. And that one upstairs. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set yeah, him up with a high fastball. No, and then bury that curve hey, down low to get him swinging. Oh, now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days. That's a devastating combination. Swing and a pop-off in foul ground. Lipscomb drifts towards it. And no one could get to it. It's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. Activity in the Washington bullpen. Tanner Rainey looks to be getting ready for Dave Martinez. a strikeout. Here's Max Muncy. Now, that funky Muncy. He's already hard yeah. in this game. Muncy. Misses outside. And what that is ball one. In the air, left field, down the line. And that is a foul ball. And another ball. Two down, nobody on. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one fouled off, two and two. Two down, nobody on. Look out! And it hit him. Well, that's pretty much the last thing you're looking to do with two outs and the base is empty. You have the opportunity to be really aggressive with that hitter. You want to wake up an offense, and you don't want to give a team an extra out. Out and in now. Takes ball one off the plate. Muncie leads off first with two down to the inning. That one pushed foul out of play off to the left. That misses the zone. Two and one. Two outs. Fastball in for a strike. Two and two now. In the air to left, down the line. And a foul ball. Ball strike three on the fastball. And that ran back over the inner half. So the Dodgers leave one as the lead remains 3-1. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Evan Phillips. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. And he deals. Let's go in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Swings 
swing and a miss. Strike one. one. And another ball. Two and one. Out to short. Bats up with him. Whips it to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. Now He's two outs away. And here's the catcher, Riley Adams. Right through there for a strike. Phillips, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Whoa. That misses, and now it's even one and one. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Yeah, that skips into dirt. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know, somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And they're down to their last out. Good horizontal movement on that curveball right there. And just enough to get him to chase it. He placed it just off the corner. And that's one of those where a pitcher says if he's going to miss, he's going to miss off the plate. So really good job. Great pitch for the punch out. Number 42 stands in now and watches strike one. Next offering misses, and it's a ball to strike. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. They'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers claim the win here behind some great pitching and defense. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four runs combined. Really good pitching and defense on both sides. Just a couple of key swings making all the difference. And your final 3-1. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.